One of the reasons that I'm so attracted to the Irish language is because it's something I didn't have as a child. My parents came from the north of Ireland. They didn't speak Irish. They hadn't heard of Irish myths. For instance, the myth of Derville. They had never heard of that or Coo Colin or any of these other myths. And as a child, I wanted to find out more about Irish and everything connected to it. And that, I suppose, is what drove me and what gave me the great love of the language. It was because I was searching for it. I was chasing after it down the highways and byways of Ireland. And then when I finally captured it and became fluent in it, say in my late teens probably was the time I became fluent. And I think people um, say they're fluent in a language when they dream in that language. And that would have been the time that I first began to dream in Irish, maybe when I was about 15, 16 years of age. And um, it's interesting, Samuel Beckett, the Irish writer, he, he, he wouldn't have had a lot of Irish for a start, but he wrote many of his famous plays in French. And when people asked him, they said, you know, why don't, you know, you're a native speaker of English, why are you writing your plays in French? He said, because it's always good to write in a language that isn't your first language, because then you have it paired back to the bone. You're not full of waffle or extra bits that you don't need. And I find in my, when I'm writing in Irish, that that is very much the case. Everything is, is paired back and succinct. And in fact, that then when I translate Irish into English, that's a good editing tool. Because if there is anything superfluous, I see it and I chop it out. And then when I have it, uh, translate into English, I go back to the drawing board and look at the original in Irish. And the third reason then that I write in Irish is because it is the language of the dispossessed and I suppose I still, as a woman, feel a little dispossessed or a little um, denied rights or even in these days of equality things really aren't equal between men and women and I suppose that's part of, that's the main theme of my work, or one of the main themes. I now read a poem which is dedicated to the Bulgarian poet Lubomir Levchev and to his wife, the painter Dora Bonova. Omra. Sminoing thra, donyenfi showed jim, guraunoing on topol. Kyan a Gorakian o Gorum Ur on the Vic Tira, Gokurkra on Chlap Hollish. Snelehen to Ud, near Hastio Ainya of a Shasvach. Don Yenfi Clock a Nish Giam, Raunoing on Tomra, Lena Lishna a Abian o Uchter Neblohi, Don Or a Ogrian Gyala on Lay. Ernost ne showed Savrosh laid a Hurtu Hugum. Bavinic lum reota on tranona a ecol, a gala is a dull er ghoul. Rien a geament er fauna fuinoiga. Wheeloher is far lum na camoga er marusta, a abian is a chavenian or gorgeous. Amber. I once thought that where I'd become a stone, I'd choose an opal. One that darkens from the blue of the wolf hour to the purple of dusk. In those days, no one wanted to be constant. Where I'd become a stone now, I'd opt for amber, with its glow that ripens from the cream of buttermilk to the gold of dawn, like the stones in the bangle you sent me. I've often seen the evening star grow bright and disappear, Tracks of a diamond on a window pane. Right now I prefer the ripples on my wrist that ripen and preserve our friendship. Thank you.